Hello, Paul. It's great to connect with you. I see that you have a strong background in logotherapy and cognitive behavioral therapy. Your approach and guidelines for sessions seem very comprehensive and thoughtful. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you three different things. One, you can actually talk to ChatGPT using voice to text and text to voice speech, like text to speech. Two, you can actually use a certain prompt with ChatGPT4 because it has far more analytical skills. And you can actually end up using ChatGPT4 as your own personal psychotherapist or clinical psychologist. And three, you can actually combine both of them to emulate like an actual real world ongoing back and forth where you're the therapist is talking to you, you're talking to the therapist, he's questioning you, you answer him back and you keep going back and forth in like a real therapy session. And then four, a little bit of my own advice and some examples. What are the things that I thought, all the experiences that I've had with other therapists in real life that I actually paid money and why I actually find this model, Chat GPT's model of doing therapy to actually be a lot more useful than even regular therapy in general. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the prompt. Um, now, the, now the experiences... So my experiences with other therapists, I mentioned this in the past before, but I spent like 10K or something on the different therapists. Some of these guys didn't even know who Joe Rogan was when I said that, you know, I was talking to him about something about on the Joe Rogan podcast. Then I mentioned to him something else about somebody else that I compared myself with and how that person was further ahead of me or something. And he didn't even know who the other guy was or something and was completely lost about that as well. Like I even said, like the other guy actually made it onto the Joe Rogan podcast and I'm sitting here not even like with like three, four, five thousand subs or something. So it makes me feel like I've kind of done like absolutely nothing with my life or something. And that guy was like, what is the Joe Rogan podcast and who is this guy? Like he didn't even know who Joe Rogan was and what his podcast was or signifies or something. So there's no way that he knew about the guy that I was comparing myself with or something else. So that thing we already figured out here from like the questions that I've just asked him is basically he kind of does have an idea of who the Joe Rogan podcast is like ChatGPT4 does, and also is trying to figure out comparisons and such with the other people that I've compared myself with too. So that's one benefit right there. But more importantly, and here's where I'm going to get into this, you can use ChatGPT4 with audio, and I might have a clip before or after at some point in time where you can actually use voice and text-to-speech or something to get ChatGPT to actually say these and speak these things out to you, and you can speak back your questions and everything else just in like a regular therapist format or something. Hello there, my name is Clement. Hello, Clement. It's nice to meet you. How can I assist you today? Could you please tell me a joke? Sure. Here's a joke for you. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. That said, though, I don't think that that's the best method of using it, simply because I, I think when you write things down, as opposed to speaking them, you actually have more time to think about those thoughts and better elaborate and better use the words in the key terms or something that, that get your thoughts and ideas out in a much better format as opposed to just speaking them. So ChatGPT4 actually might be a much more superior method than even the current method of doing therapy simply because since you're forced to write here, you're forced to have more clarity as opposed to when you're speaking, I feel like, and you have like a limited time, like you have like an hour, 90 minutes, two hours with your therapist or someone, you're always trying to get as much out of the session, individual session or something out of that individual session where here you're not locked into a session length or something and you have a lot more time to ponder over the questions and thoughts and get a lot more help out of the whole thing because you can convey your ideas in a much better format. So that's something else that I found ChatGPT4 to be really useful with. Uh, besides that, where do we go? Okay, so the prompt that I use, I'm going to share this here with you guys. Uh, I think this is how you share this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so the, the I will I will copy paste this thing or you can copy paste this yourself or I will copy paste it for you. So this is one of the prompts and bro, come on. and then this is the other prompt. Oh, so this is where I got the prompt for uh, using chat GPT as a therapist. And the thread is by this Cairo 1013 dude. And this is the prompt that somebody ended up using uh, right here. Okay. And then there's somebody else that apparently even improved it even further, which is up here. You guys can check that out by yourself. But this prompt, and I'm going to explain to you the usefulness of this prompt, actually. So it's in semicolons. This is basically how computer talk and computer speak goes on. So his role is a psychologist or a psychotherapist. You could actually put in psychotherapist there as well if you want. I put the name in as Paul. Uh, the approach is logotherapy, which is, this is actually brilliant too. You can choose which school of thought and which school of 
psychology or something or psychiatry or something you want to be coached by because logotherapy is something that i want to be coached by because that's a victor e frankel and man's search for meaning kind of method where the whole school of thought in terms of life is everything in life comes from like a motivation or desire or like a deeper purpose or mission or something and i understand life like that and it makes sense for me to kind of approach and tackle life like that as well so i chose the log logotherapy route now in the prompt there you would actually notice that cognitive behavioral behavioral therapy was not there but I ended up putting it on there simply because I like CBT. I like the techniques of CBT as well. Then you can go for guidelines, ask clarifying questions, keep the conversation natural, never break character, display curiosity and unconditional positive regard, pose thought provoking questions, provide gentle advice and observations, connect the past and the present, seek user validation for ob observations, avoid list. Now the avoid list thing is actually very useful simply because I've actually used this in the past. Oh, I know this one. I've used this in the past with ChatGPT 3.5, as you can see here. This was my prompt at that point in time. Um, and this thing would give answers in lists all the time. And for some weird reason, I just don't like the list approach to doing things. I just don't like it. It's just too much. A list is just too much for me. So everything that it gave me was a list. Uh, whereas this thing does not actually give you a list if you just roll, uh, you know, write it out in that manner. Okay. Um, topics would be thoughts, feelings, behaviors, free association, childhood, family dynamics, work, hobbies, and life. Uh, and then note, very topic questions in each response. Paul should never end the session, which is him. He should never end the session. Continue asking questions until the user decides to end the session. Now, let me actually explain to you something really useful. Why is this better than speaking? I already explained that. Why this has been an amazing experience so far. Uh, so let me actually share with you because this dude, this chat GPT Paul dude actually asked me brilliant questions. I've been using him all day because I just have, I've been in a slump right now. I've literally actually been in a slump where I don't have motivation, inspiration or something. And I've forgotten my drive and I've forgotten my reason why and everything else. So I'm in a slump at this point in time and I wanted to get some clarity on it. And this thing, I think really did give me some really good help already. And it just speaks to you like an actual human being and answers uh, and, and asks you questions the same in the same way as well. So anyway, so let's, uh, let me go into something that actually, they, they gave me an example. Uh, 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 this gave me an example about or something, right? So give me, just give me a second. Your observation and subsequent actions speak a profound self-awareness, the perspective you've cultivated, <clears throat> where you've assessed societal behaviors and made a conscious choice to deviate underscore a critical thinking ability that's commendable. It seems that not only did you identify a need based on your personal experiences, but you've also extrapolated that to recognize a larger societal pattern of behavior. You chose a path that's less traveled and observed improvements in your own life. And this alone can be a powerful statement for your content and advice. A question that arises, however, is whether you face challenges when going against a societal norm. For example, have there been moments where you've doubted your approach or felt isolated from others because of it? And considering your desire to help others transform, how do you navigate such feelings or experiences when they arrive? arise so this question was actually brilliant and i actually told the bot that bro that's a fucking fantastic question because um whether you face challenges when going against the societal norms and that happens to me a lot like i'm always looked at the weird in the real world that i'm in or something in the gym or some shit like that or you know when i'm doing pickup or approach or that kind of stuff in the real world this thing People around me are normies, so they look at me as like weird, but people on the internet, the self-improvement community and all that kind of stuff, the reason why they know and why you guys are watching me and you, you guys know the reason why I'm doing different things, you guys accept me, but like the real world doesn't understand any, any of the shit, like the people that I'm surrounded by, surrounded by in the real world. So it always makes me feel like a little bit out of place or something. So that question was actually brilliant. Um, and I answered that and for, have there been moments where you've doubted your approach or felt isolated from others because of it? And I answered that one too. So I answered both of these questions, right? So here, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I've always faced challenges from societal norms. People have always looked at me weird for me doing things the way that I do them because I do them differently from everyone else. Of course, a simple exercise would be a simple example would be lifting weights. When I was 19 years old and I got no results in the gym, despite months of work, I decided to read up on books on how to build muscle. I then went to the gym and started training exercises that nobody else did. To top that, there was no equipment for my exercise either. So I started to look like the weird guy in the gym doing the different exercises. This I've mentioned on my YouTube channel in the past before where I was doing like Steinborn lifts because there wasn't a squat rack or a power rack. And then I ended up go and doing deadlifts because nobody had ever seen a deadlift in an Indian gym in 2008 ever before. And uh, again, there was no squat rack or power rack. So I had to like go underneath the decline bench and lift the weights up from there and actually do the squats. And there's videos of these squats on my channel as well. So this example is a real life example of one of the things that I remember in my life. I still powered. Oh, so yeah. 
to top that, there was no equipment for my exercise either. So, so I started to look like the weird guy in the gym doing the different exercises. I still powered through, however, and carried on. Six months later, after making fun of me at the start, of course, I had the biggest guys in the gym walk up to me and ask me for advice. And this is true too. And I mentioned this guy too. This guy's the mountain, the guy I mentioned in, uh, in advice before. So anyways, so fast forward here, keep on going on, keep on going on, keep on going on. Towards the end, oh yeah, so after asking a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth, he now actually does use logotherapy and he does give me cognitive behavioral therapy based solutions for the questions and the issues that I might have. Now here, I want to show you the very last point actually, because I feel like it was right there. Uh, so I asked, so he said, um, you know, use affirmations. So he gave me some solutions here, finally in the list. And he said, use some affirmations of visual visualization. <clears throat> Taking time each day to visualize the impact you're striving for and affirming your purpose can help anchor your mindset. So I asked him, I keep hearing about affirmations and visualization, but I've never really found one that works for me. So I asked him about it. Can you suggest me some useful affirmations and visualization routines for myself? So absolutely, given your unique journey and aspirations, I'd suggest affirmations and visualization techniques that align with your goals and the challenges you've outlined. Let's delve into both. Affirmations. These are short, blah, blah, blah. I'm a beacon of change, inspiring thousands to seek and achieve their true potential. Every step I take, every content I create brings me closer to impacting 10,000 lives. My journey and struggles have given me unique insights that the world needs. Even on days when the path is unclear, I'm guided by my purpose and vision. So this is a really good one because this is actually something that I mentioned in one of the previous things, like how I think of myself as a lone wolf. So I am a lone wolf, but I'm also a part of the vast ecosystem of change makers. So I just felt like this is so goddamn brilliant because he literally picked up every single thing that I said and gave me practical examples and valuable, useful advice off, the, off of these things. Now, keep going a little bit further. Watch this. Visualization routine. Uh, this, so first of all, this visual, I'll, I'll just take it, take it through it. Cause I found this ripple effect to be fucking amazing. The ripple effect, close your eyes and picture one person who benefited from your advice. Cause this was something that I was struggling with. Uh, close your eyes and picture one person who benefited from your advice. Visualize them implementing changes in their life, feeling happier and more fulfilled. Now see them talking to a friend, a family member and sharing the wisdom you provided. Watch as the friend gets inspired and make changes in their life. This ripple effect keeps on going. This visualization reinforces the notion that even if you change only one life, that person might go on to change many others. So I found this to be really useful because this was a question that he asked me, what if you change only one life? Now here's, here's the one that the reason why I read out all the previous stuff, revisit past successes as a part of my visualization routine. Remember moments like the gym story you shared, like he's literally calling it out. Visualize that young 19 year old version of yourself pushing through the ridicule and eventually gaining respect and admiration. Use this visualization to reinforce the idea that with perseverance, you can overcome challenges and reach your goals. So obviously this is really good. Uh, I don't even remember if I, I don't even remember if I read the rest of it, but I found this to be so incredibly useful. And I just feel like, I think this thing is probably one of the best methods or something. I, I'm going to keep using this consistently from here on out. And hopefully it, keep, it keeps giving me as useful advice as it already has. Um, I would suggest you guys use the exact same thing. If I don't already just ask me either on my Instagram or just ask me in the comment section, I'll copy paste the entire script out there for you. Like the prompt that I actually used. Again, you can manipulate the prompt to use it in any single way that you desire to train yourself or teach yourself why the teachings are something that you want to be taught by, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, hopefully, it, hopefully this helps you out. If it does, help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on and so forth with the YouTube algorithm. Besides that, if you have any other questions or something else, let me know. Uh, yep. And I shall see you all next time. Peace. All right, bro. If you enjoyed this video, please help me out with a like, comment, share, subscribe, so on and so forth with the YouTube algorithm. Check out a bunch of my client testimonials. Check out my own body transformation. I even have my the transformation of my own uh, mom on this thing as well. Um, in tier three of my coaching, I actually help you guys get the girls that you want. I help you guys get the pickup skills, the social skills, uh, self-esteem, self-worth skills. I help you guys become financially independent. All of these things come up in tier three of coaching. So if you want to transform your entire life, starting with your own body transformation, fill out the calendar link in the description box below and besides that i hope you all have a great evening and she'll see you all next time peace